This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how you can make dithering brushes like this and flip between them super fast without having to click anything other than a button on your keyboard. So first off, I quickly want to talk about what dithering is and you can kind of get an idea from watching this that you can see we are blending between two colors here by only using those two colors. So it's a method of saving your color count. Here you can see a few images I've done with dithering although I have used some colors in there to actually emulate something you might also be familiar with. You've probably seen drawings like these on things like Twitter and elsewhere, and they are made in a software called Flipnote Studio, which was an app for the Nintendo DS and 3DS. It had a certain style to it, and dithering was a big feature in that app. So you can see it's something you used to do back in the days to save colors, but these days it's really just an art form that looks really, really cute. If you're into comics and mangas, you might even be familiar with these type of patterns being used in there as well. All right, so in order to make custom brushing for a sprite, we go up here and click on the brush type. You can see here, I have my brushes right here, but I'll show you how you can also make them. I'm gonna delete all my brushes. So let's start out with the first pattern here. So I'm gonna select it, and you can see I'm also selecting the negative space here. And that's actually very important because if I were just to select the black dot, I would just make a normal brush. So in order to make the dithering brush, I have to select the negative space as well in order to actually make the brush. So let's select it, press Ctrl B. And when I press Ctrl B, you can see up here, I now have a new brush. Now, if I were to go over here and press Ctrl B, you can see I get the next brush, but you can see my brush disappear up here. So in order to save your brushes, it's very important that you go up here, click on this drop down menu, and press the save brush here and you can now see it appears locked so let's try and make this one to a brush as well and press ctrl b go up here save brush and i should now be able to flip between the brushes here and they won't disappear now you can see there is a short key next to it here this is currently alt 1 and alt 2 if you want to change this you can click on the alt 1 and you can either add or replace the old key you can see I've already added one, which is just one. So I can press one to get the first brush and two to get the second brush because that I changed the short key. All right, so let's do this to all of them. You can now see I can press one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, if you want to return to your normal brush, you would think you would go up here and click the normal brush, but you can actually just press escape um, to exit the brush mode. Want more tips and tricks? Maybe today's sponsors can help you out. Skillshare is an online learning hub with over 25,000 courses on anything from art, animation, game development, and many, many more things. MissLab over on Skillshare has a beginner course with a lot of basic information that I even haven't covered yet that uh, you can check out if you would like to learn more and you feel like I'm uploading videos too slow. <laughs> And with that said, you can get two months for free if you use the link down in the description right now. Otherwise, a monthly subscription is less than $10 with unlimited access to all their courses. Yeah, so I hope you can use this for something. Um, it was a, a topic that was highly suggested by you guys uh, on the video you see playing in the background. Uh, and I look very much forward to see what you'll make of this. So uh, make sure to send some of your art my way. If you like what you saw, make sure to give the video a like. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. And with that said, thank you so much for watching.